check this out. We're in the 2023 Lexus RZ450e. This is a prototype. We have the steering by wire system replacing the traditional steering wheel. And they've moved the MID back a little bit as well as up um, because you don't have to look through the traditional wheel to, to get a, a clear line of sight with this MID. And it's so funny that this is heated. Now it's plastic at the bottom. So this is, this portion isn't heated, but this portion absolutely is. And of course you have the radiant heaters in here. So I haven't driven this and these are the smallest like little stocks I've ever seen for blinkers it, uh, or turn signals, whatever you want to call them, as well as your windshield wipers. They're absolutely tiny. You also have these tiny little buttons back here for regen, which I'm not going to be doing. I just want to get a feel. So we have this little course that Lexus has set up for us. And I'm going to take all the regen off and we're just going to get started <laughs> with the steering by wire system. And I, I, you know, I instantly put my hand on the bottom here because I'm so used to manipulating my hands around the wheel because you have to continually move your hands on a wheel. Like that's the point. That's why it's a wheel. This is not connected to the wheels at all. Steering by wire. There's no mechanical backup. Uh, we, and also like, the windshield wiper uh, stock was in a weird spot there. Like my, my finger didn't naturally go to it. Um, yep. I didn't hit that cone. Okay, so right at the edge of the steering lock, it's really, really sensitive. So the inputs I feel like are magnified here with this system. The U-turn though, that was super easy, but that little, uh, you know, switch back back there was more, a little bit more um, finicky, I felt like. Now, Lexus will offer this in the future. This is not available at launch, so your only option right now is a traditional steering wheel, which is perfectly fine. This will also cost you. So, Lexus said they don't know what the future price of this option will be, but yes, it's not going to be free and they have delayed it. I heard a couple years. Now, Lexus hasn't said that. That's just what I've read online. They've delayed it and making that turn super easy um, to further def uh, like refine the system here. So, man, the, the RZ is just so smooth. I'm gonna take the, this second lap a little bit quicker here just to get an idea of how speed changes the dynamics. This is pretty aggressive here. Yeah, right at the end, it's really sensitive. And then when you get off of it and straighten it out, it straightens out really quick. It's a, it's, it's a bit strange. And when you, there we go. Yeah, the U-turn, the U-turns though are like money in the bank. That's what this thing's all about. If you're driving this in the city and tight parking areas, like this is, definitely superior to the traditional wheel. Yeah, it feels very natural, except for that one spot where you have to straighten the wheel out very quickly. But yeah, U-turns are like, this is a revelation for U-turns with this guy. I like kind of resting, my, my thumbs just kind of naturally rest right here at the top of it. Yeah, that felt, that felt a lot better there as I'm getting used to it. You just, we're so like, it's so ingrained to want to correct quickly with the steering wheel because you have to rotate it so much in tight situations here it's like you have to reprogram your brain but it's not taking as long as i thought so maybe you know i'm giving i'm giving maybe my brain smarter than i thought it was that i've been able to to figure this out pretty quickly but very smooth very i mean if they brought it to the market as it is i think I don't think people would be upset about it because I do feel like I could actually live with this on a daily basis. But I'm gonna need to park it. So I'm gonna twist it into reverse here. We have rear cross traffic alert. 
And you know, the 360 camera makes this an absolute breeze. Super easy. And there you have it. There's steering by wire on the new Lexus. And also, yes, we have that annoying backup. Hopefully that's defeatable. But yeah, that's the new steering by wire system on the new Lexus RZ. Not available at launch. And also you have your light controls here. So um, I will be driving this on the streets this afternoon to give you guys more of a real world impression. But here in tight situations, it's actually quite, quite good. Check that out. That is a steering by wire Lexus RZ450E. This is also, I think I'm more impressed with this interior. So this is the new Palomino interior and I didn't know what to think about it in pictures. My gosh, this would be the way I'm going. I, I absolutely love it. This ultra suede material. It's only available on the luxury. You can still get this color on the premium, but you're not gonna get this sort of softness uh, that we see here. Also, we have you know the new looks on the back of the seats, back of the headrest here. It's an amazing experience. We also have the dynamic sky, aka stargazer on the Toyota products, sunroof here that blocks out the sun with a press of a button. This thing is super cool, but I wanna get driving it. I don't have a lot of time. There's only a few of these at the driving event, so let's get on the road. In front of us is Toyota and Lexus's past and present with the with a Prius in front of us. So what we're doing dealing with here is a little bit of the present and the future. So I'm in the RZ450E. This has the steering by wire system. It's not available at launch, but this thing is a U-turn machine. Look how easy that was. I didn't have to struggle at all. No turning the wheel round and round. Got another journalist in front of us who wanted to get some shots of this car driving. Um, and this thing is so strange. It takes some getting used to, absolutely. On the road course, you know, when you're going zigzagging back and forth, it's really, really sensitive, especially when you're straightening out the wheels. It feels really comfortable in U-turns. Also, when you're backing up, it's really, really intuitive as well. Um, of course, when you're going straight, there are literally no differences compared to a normal steering wheel because you're not moving. But there are some differences with the roundness. So since I don't have the wheel, Lexus has moved up the MID and moved it back a little bit. Um, I also have a head-up display in here, so it's kind of, they're actually really close to each other. Now, driving between the lanes here, this steering wheel is just so, <laughs> like, just the smallest input on it makes the car want to go where you want to go. I feel like in some ways it's more direct. Doesn't mean it's more natural feeling. You know, it's, I have, gosh, 20 years of, of steering wheel ingrained into me so steering by wire definitely takes some time to rewire your brain but it's not like driving a manual transmission for the first time or anything like that that's way harder and this is far more uh, i guess the barrier of entry and and the learning curve is very small in comparison so i'm just going to like even this really small maneuver here getting into the turning lane like it's so easy to do that. I'm not fighting with the wheel all over the place. So for like city situations, I can definitely see this like system making more sense. So another U-turn here, and it's just full lock right now. To straighten it out though is a little bit, a little bit strange. Now, of course, nothing else changes with the car. We still have uh, the 200 horsepower up front, about 100 in the back, combined 308 horsepower. Zero to 60 is fast in here. Um, after 60, it starts losing a bit of speed because you do realize, hey, I only have 300 horsepower on tap. But man, that instant torque and acceleration, I was able to get a zero to 60 on this, I think is what I'm trying to say, in 4.91 seconds. Uh, so this thing is quick and it's every bit as quick, if not quicker, as what Toyota's advertised as a five second zero to 60 car. And with the proper road conditions, I won't be surprised if you could break 4.9 because it's cold out um, and, you know, there's sand blowing across the road when I got my fastest time. Uh, and I was still able to put down the power quite well with this direct four all-wheel drive system. So is this the future for Lexus? I could definitely see it being a part of the future. Now, Lexus has not 
confirmed when they're bringing it to the market other than that they just will in the future and it will cost money and the thing is I would not spend extra money for it in its current form but I don't I like I honestly feel like it's really refined I don't know what else they could do with it to make it better I think the steering uh, like the I think the paddle shifters for the region and the blinkers and the wheelchair wipers are kind of funky and in a weird spot um, but Yes, I just don't see myself using this or preferring this and costing more money over a normal steering wheel. But Prado, like Bravo to Lexus for trying something new. And I could definitely see this being a part of the future um, as a part of the brand going forward. Like just turning in here so fast. It just turns in so fast. Every small input you do is magnified. So in some ways you have to be more mindful and other ways you don't have to work nearly as hard with your arms to move the steering wheel around. But I'm going to there just a quick drive and the direct or uh, the, the steer by wire system here with the direct four all wheel drive. Um, definitely cool. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. I'll see you in the comments below.